Hey everyone, Andreas Cooper here from Future Systems. Behind me here we have the LCD HomeKit Smart Switch. This is the HomeKit version. It also does work with Amazon Alexa and Google Home. But if you're just looking for Google Home support or Amazon Alexa support, there is a separate switch you can buy which will give you those systems um, separately. So this is a one gang switch that I have in the master bedroom and I'm gonna go into a bit of the, some of the settings, some of the control you can do. If you've seen some videos about connecting the switch to HomeKit, controlling the switch via HomeKit, this is a bit more of a finite control, um, setting up a few different things, screen brightness, dimming percentage, when the, the screen will dim, and then uh, things like night mode also where, for example, in a bedroom, this switch will go completely black at night time, which is, which is very important for an LCD switch. You don't want to have that in your eyes. Anyway, I'm going to bring the camera in really close. So you'll just hear my voice um, and then you'll just see um, most of the control on the switch itself. Enjoy. So as I mentioned, this is in the bedroom and currently um, I've set the name to bedroom and it is a physical switch where I can turn the light on and off. So to get into the setting menu on the switch, you physically have to hold in the top corner here. So you need to connect connect the switch to get into the settings you need the Wi-Fi code um, and you have a little bit of a lot of control by getting into this setting menu so I'll hold in the top corner and that setting menu will appear here so you've got um, Wi-Fi configuration you have the settings you have timers delays um, and uh, a little bit of system information so and this is Wi-Fi wi configuration so for Wi-Fi configuration um, you will need to use this for the QR code to connect the switch originally so I'm going to push that here um, it's going to this is telling me that the switch is already connected. Um, it's got my SSID and then it has my password, obviously. And then to connect it, um, originally you click the QR code here and then you're gonna scan this QR code. This is for the HomeKit QR code. So if you have the HomeKit switch, you'll have this version. This is what you're scanning into your HomeKit app. But if you're just scanning standard into the app to connect to Amazon and Google, you will click this version here. And so this is how you connect the switch to Wi-Fi. You open Once you're in the Smart Living app, to connect a switch, you want to click the plus button in the top corner. This will take you to the menu for connecting a smart switch. Um, for the LCD switch, you're going to select L8, select L the L8 system, and that will take you to the password and Wi-Fi name. Make sure you're on the 2.4 GHz network, your password and your Wi-Fi name is correct, and then you click search devices. That's going to take you to the QR code, and so you select um, Wi-Fi configuration on the LCD switch, and you're scanning the QR code on the switch. So if I go into settings here, this will give me a whole bunch of control here. I can change the switch um, from a one gang, two gang, three gang, but obviously you need uh, and a curtain control. This is for HomeKit, um, but of course you need um, the appropriate wiring at the on the back to do that. So if I turn it to a two gang, but I'm only wired to one light, that's not going to do anything. I'm just going to have a switch that does nothing. Um, and then here you can adjust the timer. You have you can change the time on the switch um, just under this menu. And you also have the ability to change the background image on the switch. I currently have it to the black one, but you know, there's a whole bunch of um, different options here. White ones, you know, colored ones, very fancy ones. Um, but I have just chosen to go with the black standard one. You can also reset the switch here and below that you have the screen brightness which I just actually touched um, for a demonstration. So that's gonna decrease the screen brightness and if I hold that slider down then I can increase the brightness um, at the same time. So adjusting the screen brightness. So I can have it brighter or I can have it dimmer. So I'm going to keep it um, dim for this video because it, it appears better on the video. But you also have um, the, the, the duration that the, sc the screen stays bright for. So if you want to adjust the screen um, light time, for example, so I've got it to 2 minutes 30. So after 2 minutes 30, mine will go into complete dark mode because it is in the bedroom. Um, you don't have to go complete dark, you can have it dim or you can have it lit at all times. So you can um, have that on or off um, depending on what you want for your control. Um, down here we have the vertical and horizon, horizontal, sorry. So obviously there's a vertical installation, so it's very simple for me and most switches will be vertical installations. But if you did need to go horizontal, you would just push this button here and that would um, give you the switch and then you obviously you would turn the switch to uh, a horizontal mounting. 
So that's a bit in the settings. Um, you've got a bit of power consumption. So I've got the sum, um, the sum of all power in the top corner there. Um, but you can just have power uh, when the light is on, just an active demonstration of the power. And yeah, so that's the, some of the controls in here. There's some things to play around with, you know, um, depending on what you want. And then if to go home, you can just push the little home button and then you are home. And again, the switch is on and off. So again, I'll go back into that setting menu. And this is Wi-Fi configuration. So for Wi-Fi configuration, um, you will need to use this for the QR code to connect the switch originally. So I'm going to push that here. Um, it's going. This is telling me that the switch is already connected. Um, it's got my SSID, and then it has my password, obviously. And then to connect it, um, originally you click the QR code here, and then you're going to scan this QR code. This is for the HomeKit QR code. So if you use the HomeKit switch, you'll have this version. This is what you're scanning into your HomeKit app. But if you're just scanning standard into the app to connect to Amazon and Google, you will click this version here. And so this is how you connect the switch to Wi-Fi. You open the app, the Smart Living app, um, and you scan this code, um, which will connect it to the Wi-Fi on your phone. But again, if you're using the HomeKit version, in theory, um, outside of certain control you will lose, you can connect it directly to HomeKit with this QR code. So again, I would recommend connecting it both, so you can do HomeKit first, and then you can connect it to the app which is going to give you a bit more control. But again, if you're using the Google or Amazon version, you want to connect um, directly to the Smart Living app, and that's going to give you a lot of control, allow you to change the, um, the name of the switch, change the icon, and change some of the settings a little bit more easily than in, on this screen itself. Um, anyway, I'll jump into the app a little bit and show you some of the app control that you can do with this switch, changing it around. Um, so I just want to um, show you because there is this LCD ring around the switch um, and this comes on and after a while it will go into a, a rotation and it will start changing colors. If you want to turn this off you have to do this in the app, the Smart Living app and um, I can imagine a lot of people will want to turn this off, some may love it and um, keep this ring of light on but to turn it off you need to do it in the Smart Living app. So it's just one reason why, why even if you're using a HomeKit you want to connect the switch to the app.